Hey, yo, don't vape, dog. It's silly. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host, the best host, the only host that does it the most, uh, Lace of Vapes. Ryan, what's going on, bubs? We've got a couple new fun dickies. Never heard of this company. Never braised my lips upon them. But it's called Mon. Shut up, Mon. What's going on, Mon? Um, honestly, the coolest shirt I've been given yet to date. I've worn it a couple times, actually. What do we have? Something that's not got all the touchies and dillies and spinnies and everything like that. But we have something called the M20 and the M14. Now, wait a second. It's not a geek bar. You just got two geek bar videos back to back. So settle down and watch a regular review. But let me tell you something that jumped off the page at me right off the rip. This has got 20,000 puffs, but guess what? It has 24 mils of e-juice. That makes sense, somewhat. What does this 14 thing have? It's got 20 mils and 14,000 puffs. That just kind of makes sense. And that's already let me know that maybe they're not capping in the wraps. They let you know right off the rip, we do not condone vaping if you're under the age. And wow, these packages are hard as hell to get into. But they, oh wow, I thought that was a rimpy skimpy that just dived out. No cars, woohoo! You know exactly what you're doing, baby. Blueberry raspberry. Let me go ahead and rip into these darn things and I'll be right back. Pause the phone. We got Dicky Dicky lanyards. Woohoo! Folks, we're back and barking. So this looks to be the 14, which honestly, whoa, interesting design. Top hats and skimps and rimps. And this must be the 20. Interesting design. Very different. It's not going to blow the toots backs on the shelves, but it's innovative. Uh -oh! Uh, kind of lackluster. All right, that is not a rimpy, skimpy, pulley thing. That is actually just like a sticker. Uh, there's a rim that was 100% negative. Woof, woof. Uh, woof, woof. All right, so we're going to knock out these first. And it honestly looks utilitarian. That's a cool word to say. I reckon the 14 does not have a screen. I almost don't know what to do with my toes. No dickies, no screens, no pushies, no nothing. I'm sure half you people are freaking out and wouldn't even consider it. Why? It doesn't matter. It matters if it tastes good. So let's go ahead and get into this little settle down blueberry raspberry. Jump into this right away. Holy shit. I'm nervous without a screen. Cheers, please. Oh, baby. Oh, baby girl. Oh, man, I can't lie. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, man. Uh-uh. Why is it kind of sour? It's got a little sour taste to it. The pull is a little tight right down the chute. Flavor, though, I didn't even do the snaps. No, that's not that good. I'm going to be frank with you right off the rip. Mon, I'm sorry. I don't know if you've ever watched my videos, but I'm an honest chap here. We're going to give that guy a four. I don't really know what else to say about that. Kind of like a new pup. It needs to age a little bit. I, I don't know, but that's really missing the mark. What is this one? Strawberry kiwi. Not a fan of the kiwis, but let's see if this thing can do it for me. Cheers, please. Oh, man. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ah. <sighs> Not a big fan of that at all. Wow. It, it, it really, there's no boost or dicky or anything to flick it. That thing is tight as the dickens, baby. There really isn't. It's got, it's got a dual mesh coil. Oh, and this is 20 milligrams, by the way. So uh, am I going to catch a buzz? I don't even know. I don't catch a buzz off 50. That is kind of missing the mark. Strawberry is there. It's giving you kind of the natural strawberry, natural kiwi type flavor. Uh, ice, maybe a one or a boost of colada. Um, sweetness, like a low one. Um, oh, no. Not a big fan of that at all, to be honest with you. No. Uh, that's a four as well. Dang. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, missing the mark big time with these. Lush ice. That means a watermelon ice for you people that don't even know. So let's go ahead and get into this pup and see if this one can save the day for the 14s. Not three in a row. Sometimes I wish I could just say everything tastes good. It would make everyone happy. Maybe not the fans, but it would make all the companies happy. But I just can't cap in the wraps, baby. And I'll tell you what, the, the pull on this is very, very loose. It's it's maybe because it doesn't have an adjustable airflow or something. That's not good at all. Dang. No, I mean, you're getting you're getting a watermelon. That's a watermelon that's been a bully for a long time. He's kind of scaring away the ice a little bit. You're getting kind of a candy watermelon nonetheless. But honestly, dang, I'm going to give that honestly a five. Oh, no. The 14s for me are not a hit whatsoever. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I really want it to be. Right, let's go ahead and get into these 20s. They might save the day. Oh, ah! Come on, baby. Mm, zero, uh, two. Uh-oh. What? Ah! 
one zero okay doesn't matter about the rimps and skimps let's see if these things with the screens can come through and give me something nice all right we're gonna do the blueberry raspberry first click it five times it's at 99 percent juice and 93 percent battery interesting all right let's fiddle around with this see what we got oh dude oh no man Clicking it twice moves it over to the dual mesh coil, the boost mode. Man, why does that taste kind of buttery? Okay, it's not too bad. It's got a candy taste to it. You're getting the blueberry raspberry. That is literally the most straight to the point blue ras flavor that you'll ever get. It's kind of the natural blueberry raspberry mixed with a little bit of candy guy in there. Ice zero sweetness at like a two. Why am I getting a buttery taste? Honestly, that's not a big hit for me either, to be honest with you. Dang it. Uh, it's just kind of there. It's just like a normal in, in the pack, middle of the pack, blueberry, raspberry. Um, you do got a little flicky dicky down here. Let's go ahead and flick it all the way open and see if that helps any. You get three little holes. No, that's not a hit for me at all. Honestly, dang, that's a six. It's not terrible. Can I see myself hitting that? That's a carable vape. That is something just in case uh, I'm freaking out and, and I need a little help here in the biscuit. Um, that would be something to grab in the car. Uh, okay, we're going to flick this on. That's weird. It comes with 99%. Let's go ahead and do the strawberry watermelon. Let's see if this can save the day. Hopes. High hopes. That, okay, there you go. That's not too bad. It's got a Jolly Rancher type taste to it. That's not shabby at all. Ice, you've got somewhere around like a two or three. So that's got a little bit of ice on there. Sweetness, you're at like a six. So I think that's what it's missing on the other ones. Good sweetness. Let's rip it all the way open on that settle down two boost mode. That's not bad. That one I could, that one I could vape. That one I could absolutely vape. I usually don't do a lot of strawberry watermelons. That's got a perfect split right down the middle. Strawberry 50, watermelon 50, candy Jolly Rancher type feel. It is different. It's, it's a regular type of vape. It's nothing that's going to blow you back with the screen or anything, but that one is actually flawless. 24 mils of e-juice is wild and 20% Nikki dog. That one's vapable. That one is absolutely considerable. These other ones are not smacking. These 14s, I don't know if these are old school bears or what, but these I would not consider whatsoever at all what, what, whatsoever. The 21, I don't know. I've got a couple other things at the house. I didn't want to do 70 different vapes in one review, but we're going to try a couple other ones in a different review. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Mon 14 and 20, 14. I don't know. Kick rocks up a hill, Jack and Jill. 20, definitely consider. Ladies and we're out.